Neurosurgeons at New York Presbyterian are utilizing an innovative technique in the treatment of hydrocephalus, a life-threatening condition where excessive cerebrospinal fluid accumulates in the ventricles of the brain. This minimally invasive technique eliminates the need for implanting a shunt into the patient's body. As good as shunts are, and as easy as they are to place, they have a number of complications associated with them. And it's the complications associated with the lifelong commitment to a shunt that has really borne and realized the benefit of doing endoscopic third ventriculostomy and avoiding all those complications. On Wednesday, February 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, you can see a detailed discussion on endoscopic third ventriculostomy live from New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. You'll meet a child who has gone through this procedure and had the opportunity to witness it in the OR and through the lens of the endoscope. The ETV procedure can be performed in as little as 15 minutes, and the smaller incision means less hospital stay and no risk of shunt infection or mechanical malfunction. And the recovery is extremely well tolerated and, and very, very rapid by most patients. There's not a lot of pain associated with this. The size of the incision is about one inch. Um, the cosmetic impact of the patient is almost negligible to non-existent uh, because we don't shave and because the incision is very small. Um, so the recovery is extremely quick. OR Live makes it easy for you to learn more. Just click on the request information button on your webcast screen and open the door to informed medical care. Please join us on Wednesday, February 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time for an expert discussion on minimally invasive treatment of hydrocephalus from New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York City.